Sheltering, sitting in, slipstreaming, drafting, all words which relate to one very simple cycling fact, that hiding from the wind behind another rider is hugely advantageous. Yeah, sitting directly behind the wheel in front is best done when there's a headwind, a tailwind, or when there's no wind at all. But when the wind starts coming from either side, that's when things just get a little bit more complicated. Yeah, in that situation, the sweet spot when it comes to saving power is actually when you ride behind, but also slightly to the side of the rider in front of you. This is when we see echelons forming in professional racing on television, where the wind cuts through the peloton like a knife. And some people are saying that that's what we could see on stage two of this year's Tour de France, which takes place in the Netherlands, where their roads are notoriously straight and exposed. We've decided to conduct our own experiment just to see how much energy you can save if you ride in the right position. Yeah, Matt and I are going to do a total of four runs of five minutes each where we start off from 32 kilometers per hour and we keep our bodies as steady and still as possible on the bike. Now, as you can see, we have found our straight and exposed Dutch road and handily today, it's got a very strong crosswind. Now, as befits any very scientific GCN experiment, we're going to try and keep all variables the same. So we've mounted our Garmin Vector power pedals using a torque wrench. We've calibrated them on our Garmin head units and we've brought over some pretty sophisticated and quite expensive equipment for measuring both wind speed and direction. Dan's going to ride on the front at a power of 350 watts. Dan is going to ride on the front at a power of 300 watts and for the first two runs I'm going to sit directly behind him which is the place that most novice riders will intuitively ride even though it's not the most efficient at saving power. All right. Right, well we've come in some shelter, partly to hide from the wind, but also to shelter from the heat wave we're currently experiencing in the Netherlands. Anyway, first two five minute efforts, I've got 301 watts and 301 watts. Matt, what do you have on the clock? 219 for the first one, 210 for the other one. Okay, so not far off the 30% actually we'd expect normally yeah, kind of ballpark, behind, yeah. even though you weren't in the ideal position. No, but it's still a relatively good saving, yeah. Okay, well on the next two runs, Matt is going to use the almost extraterrestrial wind directional sense and expertise which he has built up over well, decades of racing a bike, basically. In fact, Dan, I've actually raced in four different separate really? individual decades over is that my career. All? I thought it was going to be a bit more than that, actually. Anyway, so he's going to try and sit in the sweet spot outside the wind or out of the wind as much as he possibly can. You ready for it? Have you give it a go. Uh, not really, but we'll give it a go. I thought you do a bit more perhaps at your age, but well, you ready? Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I'll be all right. Let's go. I've just about recovered, so round two results are just about to come in. Once again, well, I got smack on 300 watts actually for run three, and then 301 watts again for run four. But importantly, what did you get on the second runs? 167. Yeah. And then 177. So pretty significant saving, really. So on average, rough round about 30 watts saving over not just being over, yeah. quite the right position, which is you know quite significant. I think over Definitely. a 10% saving, probably more than that. I haven't done all of the calculations. Just yeah. What it does go to show is that drawing on this decade of experience of riding in the wind and getting into the right position does offer quite significant savings, which probably is quite lucky given Matt's current fitness state, wouldn't you say? Yeah, well, at least I didn't have to sort of lower my wattage expectations at the front end of the video, did I? Anyway, in pro racing, of course, this can make even more of a difference, not in terms of percentage, but in terms of actual raw power. So if you're thinking at the front of an echelon, the big guys like the Tony Martins, Fabian Cancellaris, etc., pushing between five and 600 watts. Big power. You can imagine the saving that's in the echelon, but also what you've got to do at the back to try and keep up. That's why we get people flung out of the back and the different groups down the road. I think it's worth adding though, Dan, it's not just race situations. You could be out with a group with your mates, you could be riding a club run, you could be out on a sportif. You know, if you think about where you position yourself, depending on where the wind is, you can save yourself a hell of a lot of energy as well. So it's not just only race situations, it applies to everybody. No, it's a skill well worth learning. Yep. Well, that concludes yet another very accurate, meticulous, 
scientific experiment from GCN, which will no doubt feature in some kind of scientific paper very soon indeed. Anyway, we've got loads more of those types of videos for you. So if you click up there, for example, you can get our video where we compare flat pedals with clipless pedals. Yeah, and if you click just down here, you can see how to improve your aerodynamic position. Faster for free, basically. Mm. Loads of great content, isn't there? On this just channel? brilliant co aero content, yeah. just sort of. And to make free. sure that you don't miss any of it, what do they do? You click on our, our little bespoke Tour de France sure, you, bow of dials. Well, yeah, just just there. And just what does that achieve if you click on that? Uh, well, subscribe. You end up subscribing oh, to right. GCN, don't you? Okay, well, I just want you to explain what happens if you click on the bow. They might not know. Oh, well, if you click on the bow, it tightens up your shoe, really. But, uh, no, but yeah. on the video. Oh, right. Click on my bower to subscribe. It's absolutely free.